show you how to write code to make this button this button to go into this page uh, let's see I have a lot of button here let's see we have alphabet lesson and worm button and this button that's what we add. I will show you and this button go into this page and you can see I have a lot of lot of button here and basically what I wanted to show you guys is I wanted this button to go back to this so how I'm going to do is this I will show you now basically I'm using just a timeline here using every keyframe first before you, we begin you need to have a button I will show you I will cre create new one this one after create a shape you need to convert it to symbol make sure you choose button you can choose move click but it's, it's easier using this mm. name whatever you want uh, it and test for example then this is instant name that I be not not me the system will recognize when you write the code just just write whatever you want that you can easily recognize and not so actually just put a simple name so you can remember yes then let's see then you have one button here one button but you want this button to make to go to previous page like this one like this button work so you want this button work just like this so this is this I'll show you alright let's put the code now before you write a function you need to declare the button that in the stage we put it we can test and event listener dot click because we're using mouse so this one is going to be a function name go test go Copy this. Write a function. This. Then event. Mouse event. What? Go to. And. Or you can make go to and play. Anything suits you. In my case, I'm using this. Uh, tips: Don't forget to check your semicolon because it will make your code error. So in this area, you need to put the frame that you want to go back. Like in this case, I label it, label it as home page. So you copy the home page, go this, just paste, and you're done. Boom. Now let's let give a test. You have a button here, so and what happened when I click? Boom. Now you got. Now you can do by yourself. And next tutorial, I will teach you guys how to exit from the application. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe for for more great 
videos.